And now, even more information that you need to know about. We're joined live by meteorologist David Gumberg from the National Weather Service LA. David, what's the latest? Hi there, yeah, thanks for the invite. Yeah, so our powerful atmospheric river storm is right on track. Uh, the worst is uh, still yet to come here for Los Angeles County. Uh, we've had a lot of rain, strong winds up the coast, as you mentioned, over San Luis Obispo, Santa Barbara, and even Ventura counties with numerous flash flood warnings issued today. And then within the last couple hours, that heavier rain has moved into Los Angeles County which has prompted uh, flash flood warnings for Los Angeles County as well. We issued one initially for the western portion, and now we have one in effect also for the eastern portion of LA County, and both of those are in effect through midnight. And Dave, uh, you know, when, when a night like this happens, we're very busy here in the news department. What about uh, where you are? Um, is this something where it's an all-hands-on-deck uh, situation as well? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, we're very busy here. Uh, we have multiple people extra on staff here tonight and a lot of activity between tracking the warnings on radar and doing briefings and keeping everybody safe. So, David, would you say this is still a major event, um, as, as mm -hmm. you've said, leading up to tonight? And even though, you know, people are still out driving and in some areas like Pasadena, we don't see a lot of rain, that doesn't mean that it's not coming. That's correct. Yeah, we're really what sets this event apart from others is that the long duration of this atmospheric river event. So really, it's a 48 hour event that's going to go all the way uh, periods of rain right through Tuesday and with Los Angeles County really catching the brunt of it. Now uh, we're forecasting our rainfall amounts actually higher for LA County than even some of the surrounding areas. We're looking at four to eight inches widespread across coast and valleys and upwards of 8 to 14 inches in the foothills and mountains. So that's a significant amount of rain in a 48-hour period. You know, I heard mm -hmm. earlier, I even heard that T word, possible tornadic activity. Is that mm -hmm. still a possibility, David? Yeah, it still is. Uh, we do have a lot of low, what we call low-level rotation in the atmosphere that could spawn some water spout activity over our coastal waters. And, and not out of the question that we could get a brief, small tornado across the region. Um, so those most favorable conditions uh, would be tonight if it were to occur. But uh, it's, it's possible really we have a kind of a cold and unstable air mass right through Tuesday with a chance of some thunderstorm activity, about 20% chance of thunderstorms. Um, the main threats would be gusty winds and brief heavy downpours. But like I said, a very slight chance of even some water spout and small tornado activity. And David, before we let you go, is there a way to predict when this atmospheric river is going to continue moving on? Because as we've been saying, it's stalled over us, uh, giving us so much rain in such a short amount of time. Um, do we know that when, you know, the conditions are right for it to move on? Yeah, all the current projections have it uh, starting to shift eastward uh, by Wednesday, uh, perhaps as early as even Tuesday night. But they all really seem to be honing in on this idea of Los Angeles County being vulnerable right through during the day Tuesday. So as I mentioned, a good 48 hours of moderate to heavy mm. rainfall across the region. Wow. All right. Well, David, thank you so much uh, for that. We also understand that uh, our schools are still open for LAUSD mm -hmm. for the morning. So hopefully uh, that will continue to be the case, even though we still could see a lot more rain overnight, right? That's correct. Yeah, we're definitely going to expect a lot of rain over Los Angeles County overnight and, and actually mm -hmm. will probably be the focus area of our entire forecast area. Oh. All right. Well, our Evelyn Tapp sends her regards as well, David. <laughs> okay. Uh, hello, Evelyn. <laughs> Hi, Dave.